are now listening to The Brewcast. Hello guys. Welcome to episode six? Six. Six. Six or seven. Shit. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. It's probably episode. I think it's episode I think six. It's, I think it's six. Um, today, uh, we wanted to start this episode off with announcing that what well, you guys probably have saw on our YouTube channel that we we made a little skit. Oh yeah. Um we are planning on making more of those. I hope I hope you guys en- enjoy those. Um uh, mm-hmm. just give us some feedback. Uh we, we enjoyed making that first one. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. Just nice funny. short little fun short little it. clips. Mm-hmm. It's just you know, add some more more content to the channel yeah. and keep you guys entertained. Yeah. So how was everybody's weekend? It was fine. How fine. was yours? Mine <laughs> well, was pretty good. David, yeah. how was yours? It was all right. Peyton? It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles for that. We are, a, we are in yeah. a live group of folks right now. Yes, we all. <laughs> we, we're I, a little sleep I think we're all pretty tired, yeah. Yeah. This weekend had some some shit happening. Stayed up until 4 in the morning on Saturday or Friday. Friday. Mm-hmm. Woke up at nine, drove to Chicago, Shit. stayed up until three in the morning, woke up at nine, <laughs> drove Jeez. back from Madison. I respect your schedule though. I woke up oh. at four Tired. thirty in the morning on Friday, woke up at six thirty. You didn't go to bed at one thirty or so. Four thirty. Oh, I thought you said one thirty. And then no, I was going. I'm like, you were still you were still <laughs> snap- I was, still I was going. like, you were still snapshotting me when we were cleaning up. I was still there. At four? No. Oh, then we're talking about one thirty. No, I was. Yeah, I left at like three. Okay. So yeah. you guys did something together, huh? Right. Yeah. yeah. We we had a little get together at someone's house. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, that was I pretty made some fun. Friends there. A bit of a birthday get together. It was a birthday get together for a certain someone. <laughs> and then a certain someone asked. Uh, I'm just gonna say his name, Jacob Mills. Uh, by the way. Uh, happy birth! Happy happy late birthday! Late birthday Shout when out. this comes out. Yes, sir. Uh, he said he wanted to come on the podcast. I said um, I'll talk to the people. Yes, sir. I'm down. Said he might be able to come on with Ernie and Owen. Okay. Talk about some stuff. That'd be good. Yeah. Because he was he was really Ernie on. really he was interested. To me about it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He was like, well, most of the things I want to talk about is mainly for the postcast. I think. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. want you want to get a little closer to your mic. Your waves are a little. I'm literally. Your waves. Well, it. Your no, waves are small. Before you you weren't, but your waves are you're small. good. You're good now, okay. Amy. You're good. All right, so um, it's almost Halloween, Peyton. Today's our Halloween special. We're gonna be talking about SCP. That stands for Secure, Contain, and Protect. Thank you for just going right into it. I, I was, don't know I was how gonna to. I don't know how to describe it besides that. So I'll let you do that. The rest of that. Describing it. Yeah, because like. I don't know what else to say. So SCP, as he said, secure, contain, and protect. It is pretty much this f- fake uh, government uh, created like stories of not created by the government. Not created by like it's a fake government thing. And it's it's kind of like hard to explain exactly what it is, but it's a lot of like kind of creepy pasta esque uh stories uh there's a whole website about it um with there's what three thousand stories about it or right Peyton? Shit. Um well do you, I, think, do you have I the think there's like there's been six seasons and each season has a thousand. Oh, so there's wow. six six thousand. So um, a little more. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of yeah, things, but they're very interesting. Which today we're going to be talking about a few. Uh, we have a, a list written down that we want to talk about. I've actually not ever heard of this before. I heard about it before when we were before about you brought it up in the group chat about what yeah. we were talking about. I have no idea what SCP was. Yeah, I I did. So this should be. I have I've heard about it like beforehand. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know. So. Basically, um, it's like this facility where they keep like scary monsters in. I guess I don't know how it's to describe it. like <laughs> scary beings. Yeah. And there was a game that came out when I was a kid, where you when we were a kid, when we were children. No, when yeah, we were what was it called? One kid. I think it was just one. called S. Oh, it was called SCP Containment Breach. Ah, I've heard of that game. 
Yeah. And okay. um, basically what happened was the facility got shut down and all the monsters got out and you had to try and survive. It was really, well, there wasn't, there was only like five of the SCPs and there's like 6,000 of them mm. in the lore, but. Oh, shit. That's quite basically, a Basically, I have a list of the ones that I'm going to read off and then they're going to talk about them. And with the SCPs, there's the three, three different categories or two different categories? Three. Three. Object classes right. is what it's called. Yeah, object classes. Uh, I don't remember. I know one of is Euclid, and that's where it is. They're under under um, I'll, I'll pull surveillance. Up. Shit. Um, so there is there's safe, which so I'll just read it straight off the wiki. Safe. This is the first category. Safe class SCPs are anomalies that are easily and safely contained. This is often due to the fact that the Foundation has researched the SCP well enough that containment does not require significant resources, or the anomalies require a specific and conscious activation or trigger. Classifying an SCP as safe, however, does not mean that handling or activating it does not pose a threat. For a complete list of safe class articles on the site, click here. <laughs> and then the, sec- <laughs> the next object class is Euclid. Euclid. Which means Euclid class SCPs are anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment is not always reliable. Usually this is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable. Euclid is the object class with the greatest scope and is usually a safe bet that an SCP will be in this class if it doesn't easily fall into any of the other standard object classes. Where's the other one? The last one is... The last one is Keter. Keter. Keter class SCPs are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably with containment procedures often being extensive and complex. Hmm. The Foundation can't contain these SCPs well due to not having a solid understanding of the anomaly or lacking the technology to properly contain or counter it. A Keter SCP does not mean the SCP is dangerous, just that it is simply difficult or costly to contain. Dang. So yeah, those are the three different um, object classes. Um, for those of you who are like, what what the heck is? I'm still confused on what, what SCP is. Uh, one, uh, pretty well known one is like the the what's it called? The plague or the plague doctor or witch doctor? The guy with the, the big doctor. long mask. The it's like SCP-049. the zero forty nine. Yeah, the bird mask. Yeah. The the witch doctor. The plague doctor. The plague doctor. Do you want me to talk about that one first? Yeah. I, I, that's like the one that I enjoy the most. I, I like say. the one that uh, that only moves when you look when you are not looking at it. Yeah, that's like, like, like the like the booze in Mario. It's kind of like or like Weeping Angels. Weeping and Angels and from Doctor Who. Yeah. Okay. Or or the booze. In Mario. <laughs> yeah. That's a, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Jesus, this is a really long description. <laughs> um. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This bang that I'm drinking is so bad. Description. SCP-049 is a humanoid entity roughly 1.9 meters in height, which bears the appearance of a medieval plague doctor, while SCP-049 appears to be wearing the the thick robes and the ceramic mask indicate in... Indicative. Indicative, sorry. I'm... Very slow right now <laughs> of that profession. The garment instead seems to have grown out of the S- SCP 049's body over time Dang. and are now nearly an indistinguishable <coughs> from whatever form is beneath them. X rays indicate that despite this, SCP 049 does not have a humanoid skeletal structure beneath its outer layer. SCP 049 is capable of speech in a variety of languages though tends to prefer English or medieval French. While SCP-049 is generally cordial and cooperative with foundation foundation staff, it can become especially irritated, irritated or at times outright aggressive if it feels that is, it is in the presence of what it calls the pestilence. Although the exact nature of the pestilence is currently unknown to foundation researchers, it does seem to be an Ill issue of immense concern to SCP-049. Hmm. Uh, the fuck is SCP-049 will become hostile with individuals it's, 
it sees as being affected uh, by the pes pestilence often have to be restrained should it encounter such. If left unchecked, SCP-049 will gradually attempt to kill any such individuals. SCP-049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease throughout through direct skin contact. Jesus. How this occurs is currently unknown, and autopsies of SCP-049's victims have invulnerably been in, in cul cul fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm in Inconclusive? Inconclusive. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're read the next one. We're, we're sorry about this week's episode. We are all very just dead and yeah. The show must go on. Yes, yes. we we can't we yes, can't sir. just be like, oh, we're all tired. We're just gonna skip this week. No, nah, you're gonna listen. Do to, I look to like us? a bitch? Yeah, exactly. It, I kind of do, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, SCP-049 has expressed frustrations or remorse after these killings. Indictative. Uh, Indictating. Uh, hold up. In. Show me the word. Uh, that's right. Is this word right? Is it indictive? Right, but like. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna restart at a point. Um, SCP-049 has expressed frustrations or remorse after these killings, indicating that they have done little to kill the pestilence. Though we'll usually seek to then perform a crude surgery on the corpse using the implements contained within a black doctor's bag it carries on its person at all time while these surgeries are not always successful they often result in the creation of instances of scp-0492 scp-0492 instances are rem remnants corpses reanimated corpses that have been operated by scp-049 these instances do not seem to retain any of their prior memories of the mental function, have having only basic motor skills and response response mechanisms. While these instances are generally inactive, moving very little, and in generally am, ambulatory fashion, they can become extremely aggressive if provoked, Shit. or if di directed to by. <coughs> wait. Yes, if in in directed to by SCP-049, SCP-0492 instances express active biological functions, though these are vastly different from currently understood human physio 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 physiology. physiology. I'm just struggling with words today, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounded You're out. You're going to have a lot yeah. of editing to do. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a fun episode. All right. Yee! Um. Where was I? <laughs> Oof. Uh, okay. Despite these uh, alterations, SCP-049 often remakes uh, or remarks that the subjects have been cured. Mm. Uh, when he kills them? Yeah, when he kills them. Adam, um, fuck nice. surgery. I mean, they don't have the disease anymore. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, he kind of right, but like. So, okay. I have a question. For these SCPs, so it's this is what number? Zero uh, four zero two? four nine. Zero four nine. <laughs> so there's only one of each. Of each number. Of each number. Yeah. Okay. They're not like, oh, this is what a zero four nine looks like. There's, there's many of them. There's one do SCP you, that is that where there is multiple of them. Do you want me to play like a little bit of the interview that they? Uh, you can add it in post. Okay. If you want. Do you want me to play it right now or no? Yeah. No. no. Okay. okay. So. Fine. Play it. <laughs> you know, play it. Fine. <laughs> play it. Translator. Medieval French. He doesn't translation. speak modern French. I can speak it well enough. Good. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham. And I am uh, a doctor. A like minded individual, no doubt. Wherein is your speciality, sir? Cryptobiology. Why? <laughs> a medical man such as myself. 
wonders abound. And here, I worried I had been abducted by common street thugs. This is giving me goosebumps. This place, then, this is your laboratory. I had wondered, as clean as it is, and with such little trace of the pestilence here. The pestilence? What do you mean? The scourge. The great dying. Come now. You know the... What is it they call it? The... The... Ah, no matter. The pestilence, yes. It abounds outside these walls, you know. So many have succumbed. And okay. many more will continue to until such time as a perfect cure can be developed. Dang, dude. Wow. That's... That is creepy as fuck. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Let me pause it. Dude, I... Have you played uh, Assassin's Creed 2? Um, or, I've played 3. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know what it's called. The one with Ezio. I'm pretty um, sure it's the second one with Ezio. I don't think so. I don't think I have. Okay, well, I don't know. Those those dudes are all over the place. Like, yeah. With the masks, that's where you get your medicine. Like doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dang. So what, what are you guys' thoughts on that? That's... I mean, I, I'd like to know more about what the pestilence is. Oh, the pestilence is the Black Death that killed. Oh. They killed like. Oh, the disease. Yeah. Okay. But and and like the whole thing is that he thinks that he's curing the pestilence, but he's just killing people. But he's not. He's just killing people. And he's like I a creature. His own motive. Yeah, I mean. Well, yeah, his, He thinks he's doing good. He's a creature with where if he touches your bare skin, you're dead. You will die. Instant death. Yes. Jesus. And he's a very is it is it that happens no matter what or he decides? Well, I mean, he can decide to touch you bare skin or not. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why he's got the fucking robes on and shit. Yeah. Dang. Crazy. Yeah, he's he's pretty creepy. That is. That's one of the creep that's pretty it's one of the creepier ones I'd say. Mm-hmm. Like just with what he's capable of doing. Right. That's good. that's plus like in humanoid form, dude. Yeah. If this see Okay, so this is real, right? Allegedly, like no, no, no. This is all. This is all, this fake. Is all fictional. No, like, but it should be yeah. real. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's stated like in the thing that it's not Fiction. real. Like Dang. it's all fictional, but they like they go into fucking they detail. they put so many details into all six thousand things. Like Damn. there's probably more than what I just read off about SCP zero four nine. Um. But for the sake of time. But that's just like w- a little short description. Yeah. Like you probably, if you really want to, you could look up SCP-049 if you want to learn more about it. Or just any of the SCP. Is, is, yeah, is there any, like a website? Yeah. Specifically, what is it? It I think it's just scp.com, org, net. Um, gov. Is gov. Government, <laughs> government it's, website. It's SCP, wait, yeah, it's scp-wiki.net. Oh. I like that. Ah. Yeah. Wiki. I have it saved on my phone. I've stolen two sips of your water bottle. That's fine. I'm sorry. That's fine. He's a hydro homie. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. A lot of these that I wrote yeah. down are actually kind of lame. Well. But I've been looking through them, and I okay. found a couple that are cooler. Okay. You want to um, read a few off? Lay it on us. Okay. I'll do that. We'll sit back and listen. SCP-096. Object class, Euclid. <laughs> <laughs> Euclid. I forgot to read out the, the object fine. class for the... I don't know. What is it? 049. It's Euclid for okay. 049, but... Um, SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters. Oh, I already boy. don't like this. He is huge. Mm-hmm. Object <laughs> or subject shows very little muscle mass. With preliminary analysis of the body mass suggesting mild malnutrition, arms are grossly grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body with an approximate mm. length of 1.5 <coughs> meters each. Ugh. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation with no sign of any body hair. Is this the Slender Man? Yeah, this is what yeah. it sounds like, the Slender Man. He kind of, he, he's he's naked though. <laughs> Ooh, um, so better than the Slender Man. <laughs> SCP-096's jaw can open f- to four times the normal of an average human. The fuck? Other facial features remain similar to an average human, with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. Oh, I think they're completely no. black. 
Ooh. Oh. Or completely white. white yeah. Damn. Um, it is not yet known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. Hmm. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile with pressure sensors inside it, its cell indicating that it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, whether it be directly via video recording or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. Wow. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Mm. Approximately <laughs> one to two minutes after first viewing, that was a funny Amy. SCP-096 <laughs> will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point be referred to as SCP-096-1. You know what this reminds me of? What? What? You like how it comes at you and you look at it? There's a, in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I don't remember which one, but they watched this movie about the hand. Yeah, the hand. The muddy hand. The muddy hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks at you it just like. Wait, so I'm confused. Does it, so when you look at it, it starts freaking out, or you, you start freaking out? When you see its face, it starts freaking out and wants to kill it you. It covers its and eyes you, and starts screaming and, and running towards you. And then you become SCP-9 whatever one? No. Or it becomes it just, it, 0 9 Yeah, it becomes 0 one six because it, it that's like its aggro state, I guess. Uh, okay, I see. Um, documented speeds have varied from 35 uh. to... It's blanked out kilometers per hour, and seems oh, so, to so he go fast as fuck. <laughs> 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 so his max speed is Infin- un- infinity unknown. Unknown, and <laughs> seems to depend Jesus on the Christ. distance from SCP-096-1. At at this point, no known material or method can impede 096's progress. The actual position of SCP-096-1 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of his location okay upon arriving at <laughs> scp 0961s location scp 096 will proceed to kill and data expunged scp 096-1 100% of cases have left no traces of scp 096-1 wait well is is it two separate beings then i'm confused i'm a little confused too well cuz what's uh 49 well no no go back because it said it said something about like if you look at it, then you turn into it or some shit. No, no, no. It, what was it it's, saying? It's saying once you look at it, it becomes it. It gets to the state which causes it to be zero nine six dash one. Yeah. So it's a it's a different state, but it's the same thing. It's just how they class yeah, it. So when it, it's in that state, it becomes SCP zero nine six. Yeah, but that thing was just one. talking about how zero nine six was fucking up zero nine six dash one. I'll just continue. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regrain- regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. It will then attempt to make its way back to its natural habitat, data redacted. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and large civil- civilian loss of life, retrieval of subjects should be considered alpha priority. Dr. Blank has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096. Order is awaiting approval. Termination order has been approved and is to be carried out by Dr. Blank on data redacted. So from that little part, it kind of sounds like an Enderman. Oh, yeah. If you mm-hmm. think about it. Like if you look at it. Oh, it gets pissed he off. He freaks out. Comes at you. Comes at you. And then. Uh-huh. Here's a picture of it. Oh, you can't see it on yeah. the podcast, but it looks creepy. It does. We'll throw it up there. She'll be on the screen. Right, Marty, yeah, big I editor guess. boy. <laughs> I guess that's a lot to be. That's <coughs> Thanks, baby. Mondays are usually my editing day. In the morning, Good wake man. up, edit. Good man. Do some school. Fuck school. Just edit. <laughs> Just kidding. Go to school. No, you I really don't yes, you do need to go to school. Online school for the win. That's that's still school. That's good. Yeah. I did some online classes. I barely fucking graduated high school, but I know for a fact that if I hadn't, I'd be in a much worse spot than I am right now. So fucking stay in school, boys and girls. That's all. How do you feel about that last one? Hmm. It made me feel that, weird. Yeah, it, that made me uncomfortable. Just because of, like, like, you would say a certain detail, and then I would remember that it's, like, two and a half meters tall, and its arms are each a meter long. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a fucking terrifying visual. Thanks. But... Yeah, 
I don't know. Two that meters is only a six feet. No. Yeah. A meter stick is three feet, 90 inches. Are you sure? Mm. Look it up right now. Mm. Okay. A meter, no. two feet. It's three feet. I feel like it's feet. not it's three. 3.37, or no, it's three feet and 3.37 3 inches. Okay, so that's a six foot oh. six thing. You ever met somebody who's six foot six? Yes. Who? Data oh redacted. Like six, seven. He's like six four. That motherfucker is not six seven. You're supposed to say data redacted is <laughs> <laughs> Data redacted is six four. <laughs> not hey. six seven. Well my friend's boyfriend is almost seven feet. He's a scary man. My boyfriend is taller than me. Well my father is <laughs> six five and he's <laughs> Colin Derringer is definitely not <laughs> taller than I mean yeah, data you, redacted. You like <laughs> How tall is your boyfriend, Peyton? He's pretty tall. What's his name? Data Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you just add a sound clip of him saying Data Redacted every time a name drops now? <laughs> <laughs> wait, can, wait, just uh, sh- 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 just say it and Data Redacted. Perfect. <laughs> I'll just, what you gotta do too is clip that. you gotta yeah. get like a voice changer to make it really deep and fucking Data loud. Redacted. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll. Everyone's ears. Okay. I'll think of I'll I'll come up with something. You guys want me to go to the next one? Yes. Yes. This is the classic one. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. Yeah. Y- yeah, you know. I what remember it. Let me see seen that. that before. Uh let's see. What hmm, game really do I made out of concrete apparently? What game do I remember seeing? SCP that Containment Breach. I have never seen this. That's like I the main bad guy. Think, in it. Yeah, I think I've seen who has played that game? i Markiplier? Yeah, he Probably. played yeah. That's who I remember watching. Yeah, that I've game. S- I recognize That's that. I have never seen this in my life. Really? It's made out of concrete, which is kind of weird. That's like uh and like bone and it bleeds. I don't know. I guess really? I'll read the description. Um That's shit. weird. Object class. Euclid. <laughs> oh wow, this is actually a really short one. So, awesome. Move to site 19 1993. Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with chases of Krylon brand spray paint. Wait, what SCP number is this? SCP-173. Okay. I don't know if you said it or not. I probably didn't. Um, SCP-173 is an animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move well within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personnel assigned to enter the, the container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class IV hazardous, hazardous object contamination procedures. Personnel report sounds of scraping stone originating from within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal and any change in this behavior should be reported to the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Mm. Yes. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi weekly basis. So the just shit and blood just happens. Yeah, no Every one knows week. where it comes from. <laughs> and when you don't look at it, it comes and tries to kill you. And okay. when you're staring at it, it doesn't move. It doesn't fucking it's a statue. But yeah. as soon as you like like look away for a second, you blink. blink and it's like super fucking quick. Yeah, so shit. if you you're looking at it and you blink, it it can move super fast. Your neck is snapped by the time yeah. your eyes are open. Yeah, because they won't yeah. open. Because <laughs> you. But yeah. for for being made out of concrete and rebar, they they move pretty darn fast. How the so like what uh, is there any um like are all these just like they just exist and we discovered them? Or like, being contained is, is, is there, a secure. Is cell. It's like the aliens. Well, yeah, but like, how did they come about? Do we know that? It or it just, just says not. that there's a facility that keeps them. That's the lore. Yeah, but where the fuck did the facility get them? See? Where is the facility? It's like the aliens. Area 51. Probably. <laughs> where is the facility, though? Maybe this is all real. Yeah. That's Probably. what I'm saying, bro. I mean, this was mostly made on 4chan, so I doubt it, but... Um, <laughs> what do you mean? 4chan's like the most reliable place to it's get information. <laughs> God. Probably shouldn't say that. Fortune, yeah. Um, any fortune. All of our sources, there, any any information that we say that claims uh, to be factual on this podcast, we got from Fortune. Just like uh, to say any Fortuners out there, uh, please don't kill us. Um, you guys are great people. 
Not crazy at all. Is that was that believable? Is that awesome? Yeah, okay. I think so. Thank you. Um, this Probably one won't was kill the main us. bad guy in the in the video game. It's pretty cr- pretty scary. Um, the one that you just talked about. Yeah. yeah. I'll I'll throw up a picture. Bang! There it is. Damn. That was bang. Good. You're pretty good at that. How'd you do that? I don't know. I just bang bang. There's two more. Damn. That was kind of that was kind of cute. Is that a nine? Is that what I'm gonna do? Unless it's lame, then I'm not doing it. I mean, you wrote down a lot, but... I know, and I'm reading through them again, and a lot of them are like, this is a scary staircase. When you go down it, it doesn't end. <laughs> and it's like, okay. That is That would be freaking... Like, Aww. what if you, what if you, you start walking down it, and then you turn around to go back up? Is it just never ending up as well? Yeah, I think so. That is terrifying. Well, the one that I just clicked on, 079, that I was thinking about reading is a microcomputer that some college kid owned. A microcomputer? That's interesting. Is it? Yeah. Elaborate. Oh, God. Okay. Um, okay. Description. SCP-079 is an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, blank, blank, deceased. A college sophomore attending blank took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his... Oh, I know, I know this one. This one's cool. It talks to one of the other SCPs and likes it. Whoa. Um, took, himself up, or took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later. And after some tests and tweaks, blank lost interest and moved to a different brand of microcomputer. He left SCP-078... And, 079 in his cluttered garage still plugged in and forgot about it for the next five years hmm. it is not known when scp-079 gained sentience but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it even in the realm of fantasy scp-079 realized this and in 1988 attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection to the cray supercomputer located at blank the device was cut off traced its present address and delivered to the foundation the entire AI was on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape. Whoa. SCP-079 is currently wow. connected via RF cable to a 13-inch black and white television. It has passed during the, the past, passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. Due to a containment breach by SCP blank, SCP-079 and SCP-68 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. Observers noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with SCP-079, including telling of personal stories between themselves. While SCP-079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored SCP-682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Does it say what uh, SCP-672 is? I think I'll go on to that next. Okay. Um, Okay. Since I read about it. Okay, so it's... I want to go to this facility, bro. I want to see this shit. Do you? Yes. I feel like we die. Yeah. Yeah. But there's... You see some cool shit, though. (laughs) 6,000 monsters. We just have to memorize all of them. (laughs) And know what to do. All 6,000 of them? All 6,000. Hey, yo, what up? Yeah. SCP six three f- or uh, six nine six thousand. Actually, six the, the vast five. majority of these, all of them except one, are from season one, which is the first thousand. So I think they kind of just got worse and worse as they kept adding seasons. Okay, but SCP one isn't from season one. SCP we well SCP one doesn't exist. Yeah. Huh. SCP one isn't a thing because they were like. There is no monster good enough to get this title, so they just never added one. Like, well, they just went by how many they had. They yeah, had <laughs> yeah. The first one. Well, no, well, it's the first one. So. I think was actually the the concrete statue that goes after you. I think that was the first one they made, and that was like what seventy nine. Yeah, seventy nine. Dang. Or no, this is seventy nine. Or no, uh, zero seven six. Zero six seven. Six. Zero eight seven. Eight seven. I think. Um. Or one seven three. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was 173. Uh, Is I, there a 420 69? 
no. There's a 420. There's the a SVP. Uh, shit. You know what? Okay, so I'm going to go through this one, and then I'm going to go through the one that it was talking to, and then I'll go to what 420 is. It's not on the list. <laughs> because it, I, but I just, just to humor you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> can we do also SCP-69? Yeah, I'll look yeah, at that. Also. Awesome. Yes. Okay, there were a few addendums, though, to that one. Okay. That were updated. So as of January 27th, 2006, it was directed that SCP-079 be incinerated to remove any possible future threat, no matter how unlikely. Mm. And then the next day, the previous order was overwritten. Dr. Blank wishes to see if the artificial intelligence is capable of reaching further blank in its current state. Further blank? Yeah, it's blanked out. Yeah, it just says, uh, what was the, the object class for this one? Euclid? Uh, Euclid. Say it? Yes, it's Euclid. Euclid. Um, really? Why would they do that? Okay. These are like, it feels like there's a lot of band, like a lot of... Um, what do you what do you call that? Just a lot of pointless words in here. Basically, they tried to upgrade it to a bigger capacity so that it could learn more, mm-hmm. and then it increased to twenty from twenty nine hours to thirty five hours. It's memory. Oh shit! And the spontaneous improvement introduces the possibility of a runaway singularity in its intelligence, and it's an increased ability to adapt and respond to threats. Their capabilities must be monitored closely to ensure containment can be maintained. There's also a conversation nice. log, but I'm not going to read that. <laughs> All right, and now for the other one. Yeah, one so this is the one that it met that it met with. Six eight two for forty five minutes. Six, eight, two. Six, for forty five minutes. This one is a really really popular one. I'm trying to remember what this one was. It's, it looks like a lizard. Yeah. It, when you look up SCP, this is like one of the first pictures that comes up. Is it Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> Object class Keter. Mm. Yeah, this one. I see it. Some danger boy. Can I see it? You haven't seen that? It's, it kind of just looks like a skull covered in Boom! Sponge. Up on the screen. Um, I need to okay. that picture. So I'll go with the description. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It, it appears to be incredibly intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079. Five, two, seven. Hey, looks like the <laughs> um, oh yeah, okay. It appears to be incredibly intelligent. Was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079. During their limited time of exposure, SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. SCP-682 has always been observed to have incredibly high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. Mm. It gains energy from anything it ingests, or yeah, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set filtering gills inside of its nostrils, which are able to remove unstable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid as it, it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and it has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed. Uh. In case of containment breach, it is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces, with, and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage it. Mm. Uh, to date, blank, 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 attempted t- breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. And what is a breach? It got out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Which isn't good, yeah, especially, for, especially uh, for a thing that object can class, what was it? Keter. Keter. Keter and something that can fucking survive and talk and fight you after 87% of its body being it's destroyed. It's contained in acid, and it regenerates just as fast as it deteriorates in the acid. In the acid? Yeah. Jesus. And it has gills in its nostrils. This one's a this is a weird weird fella. This is a dangerous motherfucker. Yeah. Object class cutter is scary. Yeah, there's some. That's why it's so expensive because they got to get that acid in there. Is it just like a expensive? Yeah. Well, no, I was gonna ask for details, like you would know. Dude, SCP-69 is actually pretty creepy. I've okay. been reading it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. What? It's object class safe. Really? 
Yeah, but okay. SCP-069 is it's yeah. Okay, I already read the object class. Is a presumed Safe. humanoid entity of variable appearance and gender. Through unknown ability, whenever SCP-069 is left alone with a recently deceased human body, the body will disappear, and SCP-069 will take on the appearance, mannerisms, and knowledge of the recently dead individual. Through extensive experimentation, it has been shown that SCP-69 is completely indistinguishable from the individual it impersonates, matching the original individual's fingerprints, DNA, and data expunged. With nearly perfect precision, SCP-069 retains no knowledge of its abilities or former impersonations. It responds normally to injury and pain, but if killed, will rapidly decay into dust regardless of any preservation attempts. It will then re-emerge at the site of its most recent human death. There is no known maximum range to this effect, and so far has been observed in jumps of up to 675 kilometers. SCP-069 can impersonate a single individual indefinitely. However, it will gain an overriding urge to get their life in order, including, <laughs> including but not limited to resolving any outstanding financial or personal obligations, hmm. visiting extended family. That'd be so creepy. <laughs> you just friend. die. Like, oh, no, you go to a funeral and all of a sudden. child dies, and then all of a fucking sudden he's knocking on your door. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't die. Yeah, no, I'm here. I just need to get my life in order, you know? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, that's me. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, it looks like I just died, but uh, I'm here. Hi. I feel like if that would act, like, genuinely were to happen to me, my first, well, okay, I don't want to say this would be my first thought, but I would think I would need to kill this thing. Really? <laughs> I right. hop into survival mode, dude. <laughs> I get, you don't, you don't want to fuck with me when I'm pissed off, Peyton. Okay. I, I promise you. I get so angry sometimes. You want to just cut that whole shit out? That was stupid as fuck. <laughs> if I remember to. All right. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I found SCP-420. Yes. Awesome. It's SCP-420 is object class safe. Oh, my God, works. Ooh, SCP-420 is a dirty bottle of whiskey with no lid. When emptied... <laughs> When emptied, a small amount of whiskey-like liquid remains in the bottle, appearing as liquid adhering to the sides. This liquid pools back into a few millimeters of SCP-420 over time. Drinking SCP-420 will cause... You get high as fuck, bro. It will cause SCP-420-2, a non-fatal but con consuming degeneration of and mutation of skin and curation, curat keratinous tissue in the infected. Cases of SCP-420-2 should be contained for further study. Early cases can be treated. SCP-420-2 has only been shown to affect humans. So basically it So I want to drink that shit. You. <laughs> you heard of this uh this thing called Patreon, Peyton? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Do you know what this is? I have never heard of Patreon. You, you don't know what Patreon is. We need to write this. down a script. That we can just read off every time. No. Mm, no. No, no. Patreon is a place where you can donate to us. Only us. Us. Right? Or is there any other people? I mean, a lot of a lot of creators have Patreons to support themselves. But you should only donate to us. Yeah. Donate to us. Any other money you were thinking about donating to other people, give it to us. If you don't know by now, you will now. Uh, we have... A select amount of tiers. Yes. Uh, one being uh, just the regular Patreon, donating any amount of money. You get an early ac early access to the uh, the podcast a uh, day early. Uh, and then it goes up to our our starter tier, which you get a weekly postcast, which will go up um, after... And then it goes to our middle tier, which you get a weekly one-on-one, -on -one, and you also get the postcast. And then for the final tier, final tier, you get the raw, unedited raw. copy of the podcast. Mm -hmm. The day it is recorded, today, right now, seconds after it's done. Like as soon as we like stop recording and uh, boot compress Patreon. Yep, goes straight to the Patreon and. As long or 
as well. It gets the tier or middle tier and starter tier benefits. So if you guys enjoy what you're listening to, you just want some more content, go check out our Patreon. Donate to us. Mm -hmm. That would be much appreciated. Very much. Um, All right. That was a nice... I just wanted to... Just a little break. Segue. Yeah. Into something new. Um, which is SCP. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, there is a sixty-nine four twenty. Oh, there is a sixty-nine four twenty. Apparently. Well, it was. It was. It like popped up when you. Oops. I would like to see six or see what it is. This is really interesting to me. I really like this a lot. Oh God. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't exist. There's a Reddit thread. You know what? I'll read it. It seems funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reddit. SCP-69420. <laughs> SCP the spooky skeleton. <laughs> spooky, scary skeleton. I like it already. Object class, spooky. <laughs> Special. So I've been just reading the description, uh, but there is a art- there's like a whole thing above it that's usually actually longer than the description yeah. that I've been skipping. That's special containment procedures, mm. but this is really short. So special containment procedures: SCP sixty nine four twenty must be put in an electric cage so it does not spook people. <laughs> 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 description: SCP sixty nine four twenty is a spooky skeleton. Anyone yes. who comes near it gets spooked. Oh Addendum, no. data spooked. <laughs> <laughs> Addendum two, boo. <laughs> <laughs> is That's that it? <laughs> oh, the subreddit it's on is no slep, like with mm-hmm. one e. Oh, slep. R slash no slep. <laughs> I f- I'm. I actually think I'm a part of no sleep. Actually, yeah. and that shit is. That some shit of is, that shit is scary oh, as shit. That could be another. We could just read those stories yeah. off. <laughs> Let us know if you want to just hear some some, some no sleep stories. Um, for those of you who don't know what no sleep stories are, they're stories that allow you to not sleep because they give well, you. Yeah, no, they're just they're no, like they're just super they're like really s- creepy, really detailed. I like the bio on that subreddit because it's like no, no sleep is no a sleep. no sleep is a subreddit for realistic horror stories. Everything yep. is true here, even if it's not exactly. No sleep. Mm-hmm. No sleep. Yeah, this yeah. is no slep. <laughs> yeah, no, we we're this talking about that. what is what is the description for no slep. No slap is a place to share your original scary story. The purpose of this subreddit is to share stories with and scare the crap out of each other. <coughs> this is not a place for you to practice your writing skills or to post creepy pasta. <laughs> Remember, everything is true on No Slap. That's funny. Even if it's not. No. Okay, so No Slap is actual parody. like true stories. No, No Slap is a parody of No Sleep. No, look, look. Okay, this is this is here. I'll go to top of all time, or no? This is hot post, the first one. Um, oh, this is one of the second one. It's called "Didn't Find to Bathroom," and and the whole story is I didn't see the lights in the hallway, so I pooped in a sock. And it's <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> it's all no really, slep? Yeah, no slep. Jesus. So yeah. it's a lot of just what? dumb stories. Yeah, no, nah, it's stupid. This no. is the top Don't story. Go to of, no this, <laughs> is the, this is the top story of all time. I was spooked. So I was surfing on the internet when I found a scary vid. It was so spooky, and it said that I would die. Please help. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. And all the comments Are you okay, OP? All right, rip OP. <laughs> OP is kill. O W B E E I Z. Who was phone? Kill. Do we want to read any no sleep stories? No sleep story? Cuz oh, I mean it it fit in with the <laughs> the spooky dude, some Halloween them, theme. We got we got to pick a good one though cuz some of these are like parters yeah. and you don't want to read yeah. the first part and then be like, "Well, what the fuck?" <laughs> They're also super long. Yeah, some so, of them some are. Of them are. There see. was one, hold on, hold on. There was one that I saw. Fuck. You guys have ghost stories? Or do you want to save that for the post? Ghost stories? Ghost I have, stories. I, do not have any ghost I have stories, two. I have postcast one. or pootcast. Postcast. Oh, have you guys seen uh, my job is watching a woman trapped in a room? Have you read that? I think I have read that one. Uh, that is one of my favorite ones. Uh, one of my favorites is um, 
this uh, s- search and rescue guy. Okay. There's like th- nine different parts, I believe. Jesus. And they're all really long. And it's this search and rescue officer who is just all, he is just telling all of his stories mm-hmm. about like creepy cases that he's been on. And from what it sounds like, they're majority of them are pretty true um Mm. i'm guessing even if they're not even if they're not well the guy he is an actual like soe or um sor is it yeah soe what is soe then i feel like that's a thing um squad over everything yeah soe yeah gang shit gang shit I'm trying to find one. It was like it was pretty short, but what it was like um like this dude is like I took this job. It said it has really good pay, but like all you have to do is sit in a room and it's like you just sit there unless a light turns off and if it does turn off then you have to do all this and it's like all this crazy like terrifying sounding shit and the whole story is just the note that they left. I don't know. I don't know. It's way better if you <laughs> actually um, read it <laughs> you guys ever you guys actually you know what yeah we'll, we'll do this do you guys have any like like gruesome stories gruesome stories like, gruesome stories like, that like, would fit into the halloween like theme. gory shit yeah um, so i was shaving my leg the other day <laughs> oh God. i've seen this yeah same <laughs> david you did not see it because you weren't in my private at the time okay So this was, like, literally, like, a week ago because it still stung, like, two days ago. Okay. I was just shaving. I didn't really shave very far. I only like to shave to, like, where I roll my pants, you know? Okay. So I was just shaving. I thought I was fine. didn't feel anything because you never do. Right. And then I got out of the shower, and I was like, oh, my leg, like, burns. And I looked down, and there was just a, it was just all bloody coming down. There's blood all over the ground. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. And it, like, stung, because I, when I wear Vans, I, like, wrap the shoelace around, you know? Mm-hmm. My shoelace got, like... In the cut? Ooh. Ah. Ouch. The next day, Ouch. and it hurt so bad. Oh. It was, like, a paper cut times oh. seven. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. I don't, I don't have a gory story. I have a story of me being a retard that ended up with me bleeding quite a bit. Okay. And you were we were friends when this happened. But so this was let me set the stage. Let me set the set the scene here. This was I think sixth grade. I had so I had this this BB gun that is it was one of those like Oh C- yeah. C- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those CO2 powered BB guns. I have one. And of like those. you Ooh. just it, it's just like little metal BB like standard shit but it was like a pistol. Um so I had some buddies over and we were out in my backyard, just like shooting cans or whatever the fuck. Um, and I was shooting, and like there, I like ran out of BBs in the gun, so I was like, okay, cool. So I shot it at the ground, and I remember this thought pro- process very distinctly. I shot it at the ground, yeah. saw that nothing came out. And I was like, I wonder what that would feel like on my hand, <laughs> like just what the pressure from the air would feel like on my hand. You know, or just like without a BB coming out, just what it would feel like. So I go, okay, and I shoot myself in the fucking hand. Sure enough, there's a BB in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> so there's so like there's just this hole in my hand that's just bleeding profusely, like just like a really really fucking uncomfortable amount of blood is coming out of my hand. Ouch. Yeah, um, and it, it didn't hurt that much. I was just more like, uh, uh, like what the fuck? Like there's because it wasn't like clean through my hand, you know? Like there was just a hole. So my, I had so two thoughts, and it was, holy shit, the pressure on this gun was so, like, enough to literally, like, tear a hole through my skin, or I just shot myself with a BB gun. <laughs> so, yeah, it was the second one. I had shot myself. And the way that we found out, actually, you this is super, hospital. no, this is super redneck. Well, like, th- this is the way that my dad, oh. this is the way that my dad determined whether or not we were going to the hospital. <laughs> so he took me to our neighbor's house. And our neighbor has a metal detector. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, he basically waved the metal detector over my hand and it went, <laughs> or whatever the fuck sound a sure metal enough, detector makes. Sure enough, there's, there's BB the BB. Yep. So, yeah, I have a little x-ray 
we went to the hospital and there's my hand and there, you can just see like a dot that's like a little whiter than all the bones and shit yeah. just boop right in the middle of my right hand in the middle of your hand yeah but i don't know they said i mean i missed all like any like tendons ligaments in my hand they just said i might have arthritis later on good so, job nice. yeah you have any gory stories marty i feel like i disappointed that was not um, very gory. That was it was good that was just kind of stupid david it's very memorable yeah yeah i had a cast for a while oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll add what you're thinking okay so this is sixth grade me right so obviously i didn't want to go around telling everybody that i fucking shot myself in the hand so i god my dumb ass so i made i had a youtube channel at that point and it was like I would just post dumbass shit just because I, you know, I had an iPod Touch. <laughs> you <laughs> that, still have this YouTube channel? Camera. No. Damn. Well, I do, but the videos are all gone. That's fucked up. I yeah. wanted to see them. Sorry, baby. <laughs> but um. Uh. So basically, like to avoid the embarrassment of having to tell everybody that I shot myself in the fucking hand, I made a YouTube video. <laughs> God, this is so fucking stupid. I made a YouTube video basically lying. Saying like, yeah, I was in this airsoft war battle <laughs> with my friend and he like came up super close to me and was about to shoot me in the face and I just put my hand there to block it and it the BB went into my hand, like some shit like that. that just a That's complete nice. lie to make myself look like not a retard. <laughs> but yeah, so I posted that video and then whenever people would ask me, I would just send them the link. And then I took <laughs> it down because... I don't know. I think I told one person that I just shot myself, so I was like, well, this is stupid. But yeah. I I will never do that again. Do you want me to tell my uh, skateboard accident story? Oh, my God. Which one? Oh, God. I do not want to hear it again. Wait, I have not heard this. I don't like it, but my skateboard accident video, or uh, not video, story. You've heard about it. Have I heard of, did I just not know it was you? Maybe? Okay, so (laughs) here's the thing. Okay. Eighth grade. So four years ago. Actually it was four years ago to the date of October twenty first. Um a couple of friends and I, we were outside the school. School just had school had just gotten done. Um we were just doing some skate tricks outside by the bike racks and I was uh, attempting to do some kick flips and I was trying to land them. Um I was getting the board to flip around. And I was like, okay, I'm getting pretty close. And then the next one, I flick the board, or I I miss oh, the no. flick. I think I know the board going. pops up, oh. and I land on it Pop-sicle. in between my legs. Yep, oh, it's called a popsicle. Oh no! I go down to the ground. I was like, oh fuck, that hurt. I was like, I think I pissed myself. <laughs> Because of like how hard I got hit, I th- I thought it I, it made m- me like piss myself, and I was I was like oh I I really hope it was, I just pissed myself and I'm just gonna double check, so I stuck my hand down my pants, I pulled it out. Sure enough, I I didn't piss myself. It was <laughs> you, you nutted. <laughs> I I had blood all over my hand when Fuck. I pulled it out. What did you do? Sever your fucking? Oh okay. So I I go inside thankfully i was uh, still at school go inside the school in the bathroom and i'm just pissing blood at this point like Uh, it was all blood just coming out uh, it was not it that bathroom looked like someone murdered murdered a fucking cat like there was blood everywhere and one of the gym teachers he came in he gave me a towel (laughs) <laughs> and he like a towel and a bandaid. He like cut the towel up. Yeah. So like it was not just like a big full towel. It was just like a Put smaller it. towel. Yeah. And I pretty much just wrapped it up mm. and put my pants on. Uh, the gym teacher he called my mom, and she came and luckily she had just gotten done with work mm. and she was on the way home, and she answered, came and picked me up from school, went to the ER. He got some um, pee samples taken. That was mostly blood. <laughs> uh, so it was pretty much just a blood sample at, <laughs> at that point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I like went under for surgery. Did that hurt? Peeing blood. Sorry. Did it burn like a motherfucker? Was it like? What do you think, David? Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, it hurt. <laughs> well, yeah. I will. Obviously, you were in pain during the blood pissing, but like. That, yes, yeah. it it hurt. It was a new pain. Okay. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> it's an indescribable pain. I'm honestly. trying to visualize like, it. Th- why? The only, why do you want to visualize? The only this? thing I can think that might be like close to it is you. You ever like taken a shower and got like soap soap, yeah. soap in there and you kind of have to like push it out and it stings like a bitch for like a second and then it's out. Yeah, imagine that, but like a hundred times worse. Because it's constantly it's, flowing out. It's blood. Yeah. Like if shampoo is just coming out of your dick, basically. But it's yeah, blood. but it's blood. <laughs> oh, fuck. Which um, I'm just gonna take this moment. Um, my mom does listen to this stuff, so hi, mom. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> she listen every episode. I don't know. She listens to the last it's one. Very I think. sweet. Yeah, well, my she, parents don't listen. My dad listens. I don't know awesome. if I want my parents to hear this. They're very religious. <laughs> I don't mind my mom listening to this. It's kind of weird, but. Hi, what can mom. you do? What's your mom's name? Stacy. What's up, Stacy? How you doing? Hi, Stacy. Hello, Stacy. Everyone name, says hi. My name is David. What's your dog's name? Hazel. I should know. This. She's a cutie. Hazel's a bitch. <laughs> Hazel is the cutest dog. <laughs> sorry, baby. I didn't, I didn't, Anyways, I mean, sorry, so I I went like under that. I went under for an exploratory surgery. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds it's fun. Thankfully, I was I I was under for that. Uh, I I wake up. It's like ten o'clock. When I went in, it was like three, so there's just seven hours gone. I'm not sure what of your uh, life. Yeah, just you'll never get back. Yeah, just laying on an operation table mm. with a camera down my pee hole. Ooh. Mm. Thankfully, I was under. Do you have the footage from the pee hole camera? No. <laughs> yeah. We we should have put that on screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what what was did you like? I tore a a button sized hole in my urethra. Oh, like button? How big of a, a button? button? Like, like a s- buttons or like that like a sm- um, variant. Let's see. Well, that's a that's a pretty large Does hole anyone, for a like, urethra. Uh, <laughs> not, not like not like a button, but like a button hole size button. So oh. if you look at. That okay. still depends on the size of the button. So I yeah, mean, like kind of like that big. I don't think that's I'd what they're describing. I wouldn't want any size. So tool on my if ear. you guys have a flannel well, and you have like normal size buttons, and there's the side that doesn't have the actual buttons on it, the buttonholes, the doctor said I a tore about that size of a hole in my urethra. Whoa, the buttonhole? Yeah. Oh. Oh well, I mean that doesn't really change that much. I thought you meant like the buttonhole, as in the little hole that is on a button. No. I was like, oh, that ain't bad. No. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So that's so don't fuck. That's the dangers of the popsicle. So now that you say that, which I, I did hear. I do remember in middle school hearing about a yeah, kid. Yeah, because everyone, everyone's like, oh ha ha, you lost your tip. Like no. that was that was the joke really? that went yeah. around, and people still talk about that's it. I don't really care, but it's it's funny, I Dude, guess. Dude, that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because that happened to me. And then, I don't know, a a few months later, I was looking at, uh, what's it called? (laughs) Um, Hall of Meat that Thrasher does. And some like professional skateboarder (coughs) had that happen to him. And I just remember the caption, like he was sitting in or sitting on a chair in a hospital gown. Mm -hmm. And the caption was like, no, this man did not spill cranberry juice on his lap. He tore a hole in it or like he ripped his urethra or some shit. And I was like, relatable. Like I, I know, I know, (laughs) I know how that feels. Like you, you probably were doing something more rad than I was doing. Just doing, trying to do a freaking cake flip. I feel like, yeah, I feel like not a lot of people can say that they've, been in your shoes no in that like situation. the doctor even he was like this is we don't ever see this happening from <laughs> what you were doing from any from any skaters like i like the thing is like i've been popsicled before yeah just not and yeah and me too like and you just like, kind of land it you're just like, oh fuck it and hurts get, yeah and you get but you up. never like think that oh this could rip a hole in my, my urethra. fucking taint yeah so like uh, damn because pretty much what it was, it was just the force of me. F- yeah, was it all hitting. your weight right on the nose? Yeah. Damn. Which I was, it was just flat ground too. So it's not like I was going off of something. Like I was stationary. 
standing on the board on flat ground and, and just it just happened and Jesus yeah the rest is history well damn fucking <laughs> well on that really painful note yep <laughs> I told you you didn't want to know well I do now I did know actually well you guys asked if I had a gruesome story and that's pretty mm-hmm. gruesome that is pretty goddamn gruesome I, I have a ghost first. story but do we post-cast. Are we s- postcast? postcast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, post-cast. I have a gruesome story, but I'm gonna wait wait for the postcast just because it's a sad note to end on. <laughs> okay, it's and we're we're at like an hour. Should we cut this one off? Yeah. Should I do the outro? Sure. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the postcast. Pod- I've been David. Podcast. Podcast. Fucking been, shit. Oh, I've been Peyton. I've been David. I've been Amy. I've been Marty. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.